guys welcome back to another beautiful tutorial with me my name is mimi if you're stopping for the first time you're highly welcome hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so in this video i'll be sharing with you guys how to make this bubble kaftan dress with a v-shaped stylish neckline so if this sounds like something you're interested in please keep on watching and let's get started so guys for this tutorial we're making use of this two fabric and I have here my doll face fabric and my African print. The next thing I'll go ahead to do is to fold my fabric, mark my starting line, and take all my vertical measurement. This is my bust point, and then my waistline, and then my hips, my hip line. And finally the length of my gown so after I was done taking the vertical measurement the next thing I'll do now is to go ahead and take my horizontal measurement the first thing I went ahead to do was to divide my shoulder by two take the measurement there and on my boss point I came up by two which is going to serve as my chest line so I'll just go ahead and mark the line for my chest line just go ahead and roll your line like this and then after i was done with that the next thing i'll do is to also repeat my shoulder measurement divided by two on my chest line this is just to get a very straight line so i'll connect the two lines like this so after connecting i decided to come here come down here by one inch this will be for my shoulder slope and then take my neck width to be three inches i'm sorry my camera did not capture that area well so i'll just go over and make my slant like this for my shoulder slope so the next thing i'll do is to come down to take the neck depth of my dress for this particular video i'll be using one inch so i'll just go over and connect with my row like this So after connecting this is what i have the next thing i will go over to do is to take my bust measurement divided by four and make a mark there and then divide my armhole line divided by two make a point there and connect it to what i have on my bust just like this So after I was done connecting, I went ahead to put my allowance. I don't want this particular one to be too boggy. So I decided to make use of three and a half inch. You can use as much as you want. You can even go as head as using five inches to six inches. But for me, I'll be making use of three and a half for this video because I don't want it too big. So this is me now taking my hip measurement and my allowance. So I'll just go ahead and connect all my measurements together like this using my cover. And so after I was done, I'll also go ahead and extend this line to the length of my gown. And then after I was done, I'll just go ahead and cut it off. So after cutting, this is what I have. I also went ahead to duplicate it on another fabric. The same measurement. There is nothing like two inches allowance in front for zip. There'll be no zipper. So cut exactly the same thing. Now I went ahead to bring one of it, which will be serving as a front piece. And then I'll determine how I want my my v neckline to be the length you can decide to use your chest line you can also decide to go up or you can decide to use lower than that but for me i'll be making use of seven and a half or nine inches rather 
and then from that point i'm going to come in by 0 0.5 just like this and then from there now i will make a mark and then connect from that point to meet with my neck line like this just watch closely so after connecting you have something like this go ahead and cut it off just the, the same way you see me doing So after I was done cutting, this is what I have. I'll go ahead and open it up for you to see. This is what I have. So the next thing I'll go ahead to do right now is to bring both my front and back piece together. And then I'll go over to my sewing machine and I'll join the shoulder. I'll bring it back to show you how it looks so after i was done this is what i have so the next thing i'll go ahead to do now is to take my tape and measure my neck from this point just watch so you could see from this point and i'll measure it all around As you can see, I am not starting my measurements from the middle, just where you see my tape. Go ahead and take your measurement all round to the other end of our stylish V. So after I was done taking mine, I have about 25 and a half. So I'll just go ahead and cut 25 long with my doll face and the width is about three inches so the next thing i'll do is to place the two fabric together right side facing each other and i'll just go ahead and sew all around this is what i mean on my sewing machine go ahead and place it like this and sew from that point remember not the middle but from this edge i'm using 0 0.5 inches to sew so i'll just go ahead and sew all the way down to meet the other edge just watch closely you will understand what i mean So after I was done, this is what I have. And you can see our dress is taking shape already. The next thing I went ahead to do was to cut out a little piece like this. I don't just want it to be plain. So go ahead and make a notch at the center like this. And I also went ahead to style this. You can decide to use yours just like that. You can also decide to give it another beautiful shape. But for me, this is what I'll be using. So go ahead and make any design of your own, your choice. So I'll just go ahead and cut this out and bring my actual fabric, place this on top of it like this. And then I will just use my pins to secure the edge before going to sew around with my sewing machine so just watch closely to see what i am doing go ahead and flip in the edges like this and secure them with your pins before sewing so you will have a very nice outcome
so i'll do this all the way around i'll go ahead and pin this around before using my thread to secure them so after pinning this is what i have so i will also go ahead to my sewing machine and secure this with my thread so after i was done this is how it came out and you can see this is looking beautiful already i also went ahead to shape and insert my sleeves and i also went ahead to fold this edge at the lower part of it so thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and see you in our next one bye